I'm getting emotional. And I told myself I wasn't gonna do this. Wendy Williams' ex-husband, Kevin Hunter, is dragging Wendy, and more specifically, the people handling her money, into court. According to Kevin, he and Wendy agreed to a divorce settlement, whereby she paid him alimony. The couple were married for nearly 20 years, and so long as Wendy was in control of her finances, she was paying him. Now Kevin is demanding the payments that he is entitled to, under his and Wendy's marital settlement agreement. Kevin, through legal documents, said that their out-of-court mediation failed, and that's why he is bringing their case once again before the court. Kevin explained in court documents, I rely on the severance pay for my living expenses, and having been without this income for 23 months has affected me greatly. Wendy's ex is also asking that the star, via her guardianship, immediately pay all severance payments which may be due and owing at the time of this court's order. Kevin is also looking to get paid from Wendy's after a retirement plan. I also respectfully request that the court compel the plaintiff to sign the qualified domestic relations order for the AFTRA retirement plan, or in the alternative, appoint me an attorney in fact so that I can execute the document if the plaintiff does not sign the document within seven days of this court's order," he added. I would not have to file this motion if the plaintiff did not stop my severance payments and if the plaintiff would have signed the qualified domestic relations order for the AFTRA retirement plan. Anyway, word on the street suggests that Kevin Hunter is back at it again, trying to get a payday off of his ex-wife because he is extremely broke. You see, Hunter is in a legal battle with Essentia Insurance Company after alleging that they refused to honor his claim following damage to his Ferrari, reportedly due to waterlogging. The latest development in this ongoing saga sees Hunter being ordered by a Florida judge to turn over financial documents, including his divorce papers, as part of the lawsuit against the insurance company. Court documents obtained by Radar Online reveal that Essentia Insurance Company filed a motion to compel, seeking various financial records from Hunter to aid in the preparation for the upcoming trial. Among the documents demanded were all credit card statements from 2020 onwards, copies of bank statements, details of loans taken out in the past four years, and crucially, a copy of Hunter's divorce settlement with Wendy Williams. In addition to the demands made by Essentia, the insurance company also issued a subpoena to Verizon, requesting access to Hunter's phone records. Specifically, they sought all text messages sent and received by Hunter during a specified time frame in November 2021. The legal battle escalated further when Essentia alleged that Hunter had failed to comply with their requests for documentation. Consequently, at a recent hearing, a judge ruled in favor of Essentia's motion to compel, ordering Hunter to produce the requested records, including his divorce divorce settlement. Meanwhile, some people are speculating that Sharina Hudson is back in Kevin's life and is demanding money from him. It remains unclear if Hudson and Hunter are still together, with rumors first circulating last year that the couple had split. In December 2022, Hunter confirmed that he was still in a relationship with Hudson after posting a photo of the pair together holding hands. But in July 2023, eyebrows were raised after it was noticed Hunter has removed most traces of Hudson from his Instagram page. In an interview on Watch What Happens Live last year, Williams admitted that she didn't know if Hudson and Hunter were still a romantic couple. I have no idea, Williams replied when asked about the relationship status, and I don't know how they're raising the daughter journey, I think she's like two next month or something. During their time together, Kevin used to spend all his money on Sharina. He sent her off to some fancy schmancy massage therapy school, thinking she'd become the next big thing in the world of spa treatments. Well, surprise surprise, that didn't quite work out. Sharina quickly waved goodbye to her massage therapist aspirations and moved on to greener pastures. But Kevin wasn't about to let a little setback deter him, nope. He was determined to keep Sharina living the high life, even if it meant venturing into the world of failed business ventures. He tried his hand at an online clothing and jewelry store called Vish, which you guessed it went down faster than a cheap knockoff Gucci bag. But hey, Kevin wasn't one to give up easily. He then decided to help Sharina become a certified realtor. Guess what? That plan also crashed and burned like a bad reality TV show. Undeterred by failure, Kevin had one more trick up his sleeve. He jumped on the vegan bandwagon and started yet another company for Sharina, making it the fifth failed venture he had set up for her. And just to add a sprinkle of irony to the mix, he bought her a lavish house in the same neighborhood he once shared with Wendy. Meanwhile, in a startling revelation that sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry, Kevin Hunter's sister, Kimblin Hunter, recently took to social media to call out her brother Kevin and his alleged mistress, Sharina Hudson, for what she described as the exploitation of Wendy Williams, the beloved television host. 
Approximately one year ago, Kimblin Hunter aired a series of grievances against her brother and Sharina Hudson, shedding light on a tumultuous family dynamic and painting a concerning picture of the relationship between Kevin and Wendy. Among her accusations were claims that Kevin had been taking advantage of Wendy's kindness and vulnerability. One of the most striking aspects of Kimblin's statement was her assertion that Kevin, who is often referred to as Kelvin in the media, and herself were raised together under the assumption that they shared the same father. However, paternity testing later revealed that they had different fathers, causing considerable upset for Kevin. Mother uh, made us to believe that me and Kevin had the same father, and Keith, we definitely don't have a different father, you know what I'm saying? Adding to the familial strain, Kevin's mother, who resides in a nursing home, reportedly had limited contact with her son, having only seen him twice in the span of two years. This absence of familial support seemed to exacerbate the issues within Kevin's personal life. According to Kimblin's account, Sharina Hudson's involvement in Kevin's life began under precarious circumstances. Allegedly, she was living out of her car when she and Kevin started dating. Kevin purportedly used the pretext of Sharina's connection to radio personality Charlemagne as justification for her presence in his life, particularly when Kevin was still involved with Wendy. Get a better career up here, you know, we'll help you, hold you down. And he put Charlemagne in the condo first, and then that's... I, I Moreover, Kevin's mother reportedly harbored feelings of resentment towards Wendy's family, perceiving them to look down upon her own. This strained relationship likely added further tension to Kevin and Wendy's already troubled marriage. Kimblin Hunter also painted a portrait of Kevin as a long-standing bully, suggesting a pattern of behavior that extended beyond his personal relationships. She alleged that Kevin had embarrassed Wendy by publicly berating her in front of her predominantly white staff, further damaging Wendy's reputation and sense of self-worth. He just went into Wendy. You know, what are you doing? You're not supposed to talk to these people. In any case, Wendy Williams didn't mince her words about her divorce in the shocking new Lifetime documentary, Where is Wendy Williams? While speaking of her split from her ex-husband and longtime manager Kevin Hunter in 2019, after it was revealed he had a baby with another woman, the former talk show host said, I don't care about him or that baby. Though Williams puts on a cold front while speaking of Hunter, 52, in the documentary, which Lifetime will air as planned on February 24th, despite an ongoing lawsuit from Williams' guardian against the network's parent company A&E, her family says they saw the loss of her 21-year marriage take a huge toll on her. Wendy's mom, Shirley, may she rest in peace, would always remind me that your aunt would trade everything that she has, every dime, every car, every wig, to be able to have a strong, loving household and a loving husband, Williams' niece, Alex, told People magazine. That was ripped from her right after her son had to go off to college in 2018. Emotionally, it was just a lot. It was too much for her world. Williams' brother, Tommy, agreed. It put her back into that dark space. Williams and Hunter met at a skating rink in 1994 and married three years later. In 2000, the pair welcomed their son, Kevin Jr., whom Williams calls very important to me in the documentary. While rumors of Hunter's cheating long plagued the couple, Williams often brushed the accusations off. When she revealed on her show that she'd been staying in a sober living house in March 2019, she went so far as to tell her audience, I want to shout out to my husband. I'm still wearing my ring. He's my best friend, he's my lover, she said at the time. I know what you've been seeing, I'm still very much in love with my husband and anyone who's been married, you know. A month later, Williams stopped wearing her wedding ring on the show. Shortly after, people confirmed her divorce. My aunt is a lover of love, Alex said. Being married and having a family was everything to her. She loved having her show, but the thing she loved more than that was the family unit that she created. The fact that ended so tragically and so publicly, I'm sure it must have felt embarrassing for her, not that she'll ever admit that. Her heart was breaking at a time when she had to go out and still make people smile. Would I say that the divorce played a role in what we are seeing now? I think absolutely, absolutely. The years following her last appearance on The Wendy Williams Show in July 2021 have been especially difficult for Williams. Where is Wendy Williams? Filmed between 2022 and 2023, shows her in the throes of alcohol addiction and her struggles with health issues including Graves' disease, an autoimmune disorder that can cause bulging eyes, and lymphedema, a condition that causes swelling in her feet. 
In 2022, the court appointed a legal guardian to oversee Williams' finances and health decisions. The documentary crew stopped filming Williams in April 2023, the same month she entered a facility to treat what her family says they were told were cognitive issues. In the documentary, Kevin Jr. says he was given a diagnosis of alcohol-induced dementia by doctors his mom was seeing while she was staying with family in Florida during her hiatus from The Wendy Williams Show. Williams' care team announced that she has primary progressive aphasia and frontotemporal dementia FTD, a diagnosis Williams' family says they were kept in the dark about. According to a press release, Williams received her diagnosis last year, and her care team said the conditions have already presented significant hurdles in Wendy's life. Wendy is still able to do many things for herself, the team said in a statement. Most importantly, she maintains her trademark sense of humor and is receiving the care she requires to make sure she is protected and that her needs are addressed. She is appreciative of the many kind thoughts and good wishes being sent her way. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks. Bye.